Nicaragua showed us unbelievable hospitality. We hitched a ride from Managua to Esteli. Then had afternoon coffee with residents. We also got a behind the scenes tour of the tobacco industry. Even though Nicaragua isn't a main contributor of the world's annual tobacco supply, the country is known for exceptional quality of tobacco used to make cigars. This is Nabil, a friend and tobacco connoisseur. You might remember Old Town Cigars from the first video. Nabil owns and operates the boutique shop in Wichita. Together, he and his wife Rosaline own Elohio, a brand of cigar made with premium tobacco in Nicaragua. Nabil introduced us to Carlos, who owns a tobacco farm as well as the factory Flor de San Luis. They manufacture a few brands, including Elohio. Carlos could teach you everything you want to know about tobacco, but here is what I learned in two days. There are 10,000 seeds in one bottle cap. They spread the seeds and give them 45 days to sprout before transplanting them into organized crates. It takes about three months before the plants are ready to harvest. When it's time, they'll fill this barn with tobacco, hanging it from racks made of branches. After the leaves dry, things pick up pace in the factory. One group separates the wrappers, or the outermost layer, into different sizes and colors. There's a separate room for the filler, or inside leaves. Each brand has different blends and sizes, which are kind of like recipes. The cooks, so to speak, work in teams of two. One person bunches and places the cigars in molds. While the other person cuts the end, applies the wrapper, and glues the cap. The glue is made by mixing a powder called vermicol with water. The same glue is used to fasten the bands. Once they have a bundle, employees rotate the cigars and seal the bundle with a plastic wrap. At this point, they are almost ready for boxing and distribution. The production of one cigar can take years of preparation and pass through hundreds of hands, depending on the size of the operation. It's a fascinating choreography of mother nature and man, like a theatrical dance or watching a painting come to life. 